Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and uh, let me thank both of our witnesses for their service and, and always a pleasure working with you on uh, our Air Force family issues uh, in New Mexico. I, I, uh, I'm concerned about how the Air Force is going to respond and plan for future threats. Um, it has been repeated often that the military tends to prepare for the last war and um, rather than the threats of the future, and, and I'm happy to see that both of you have addressed that in your testimony. Secretary James, you said uncertain future budget top lines make it difficult to deliberately balance investments to modernize, recover readiness, right-size the force, and win today's fight. And General Welsh, you, I think, led with a quote a minute ago, let's get to work on tomorrow's air power, and I, and, and I like that you have focused on that. In, in New Mexico, our Air Force bases are grasping with all of these issues, as you well know. At Kirtland Air Force Base, the Air Force Research Lab, and the <laughs> Nuclear Weapons Center, uh, these are playing a major role to help modernize the force. And we're, we're happy to uh, uh, hear today that there are going to be 34 additional <coughs> positions in the Nuclear Weapons Center uh, there in Albuquerque. The 58th Special Operations Wing and Holloman Air Force Base are both working to train our future warfighters. And at the same time, our special forces out at Cannon Air Force Base are bringing the fight to our uh, enemies overseas. Secretary James, I want to thank the Air Force and the Army for making air airspace deconfliction at Holloman a priority. I think this effort has ensured that the airspace over White Sands Missile Range can be further optimized. And as you know, there's nothing like the White Sands FAA blackout area anywhere in the world. As a result, I believe that Holloman is well positioned for the future. I assume that Holloman remains part of the long-term Air Force strategic vision. Is that correct? It is, and I'm looking forward to is visiting it? in the not too well, distant so, Well, future. we're looking forward to your visit. and. General Welch, you're also invited. I know you've got a lot of things on your schedule, too. And as, the, um, as, as you know, the German Air Force does a lot of training uh, at Holloman, and as they consider their future basing, do you support continued training by German forces at Holloman Air Force Base? I do. Uh, last year, I supported increased production of the F-35. This year, the Air Force is asking for less, as you know, and you noted that in your testimony. How does this reduction impact the overall cost of the F-35 and the potential for future basing, and will Holloman Air Force Base remain a candidate for such basing in the future? So in terms of the unit cost of the F-35, ordinarily, you're right. When you decrease the numbers that you're buying, ordinarily, that means that a unit cost uh, will go up for each individual aircraft. In this case, however, because there are FMS purchases in the works and other services are buying F-35s. We believe that this will allow us to still have a stable unit price. We don't believe that the cost will go up, at least not substantially in this case. Could you try that next part about the basing, Chief? Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, could you repeat your question about the basing? I'm, yeah, I'm not the, sure what the question was. Yeah, the, the question... Um, was about when when you go with the reduction on the selection for the F-35 yeah, for basing. Yeah, the F-35, okay. the Holloman Air Force Base remain a candidate for such basing in the future. Basically, yes. talking, are you as you go with a reduction, are the numbers of bases where uh, those could be deployed, are those going to be narrowed yes. now as a result of that? Uh, yes, sir. This change in the in the in the current fight up is not a uh, eliminating numbers of F-35s, just deferring them. Yeah. And so our, our, our required number remains 1,763. We still hope one day to buy that many. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, if, and as a result, the basing process will not change. It will continue on the same pace and the, using the same process we've been using up till now. And Holloman will continue to be eligible. Great. Thank you very much. And, and finally, uh, New Mexico continues to play, Secretary James, a major role to modernize our nuclear arsenal, as you know, our two national laboratories. Just for the record, do you agree that modernizing and extending the life of the de deterrent is still one of the top priorities of the Air Force and making sure the B-61 is on time and on budget? I do. Yeah. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your service, and thanks again, Mr. Chairman.